good morning to everyone my name is ramesh assistant professor department of commerce sundariya institute of management and science now i am going to explain cotel deviation continuous series of observation problems this topic will come under the unit number 4 measures of dispersion in the subject quantitative analysis for business decision 1 or in general business statistics of bangalore university second semester bcom and second semester bba courses this video is a continuation of previous video previous video i explained individual series of observation and discrete series of observations how to solve cotel deviation problems now i am going to explain continuous series of observation problem how to solve cotel deviation I'm taking this problem. It's a continuous series of observation. We know very well how to solve this problem based on median concepts. The given problem will be written in the vertical form. Then we need to find cumulative frequency. It will be written as it is: sixteen plus eight equal to twenty-four. Twenty-two plus twenty-four equal to forty-six. Thirty plus forty-six equal to seventy-six. Twenty-four plus seventy-six equal to hundred. Twelve plus hundred equal to one one two. Six plus one one two equal to one one eight. So total frequency and cumulative frequency of the last value will be same. So. the n value is correct then this is a continuous class interval so we need to find out q1 class as it is of median so here q1 and q3 we instead of that we can find q1 class and q3 class q1 class how to find q1 class equal to 1/4 of the nth term n is Here one one eight, so we can substitute one one eight divided by four twenty nine point five twenty nine point five. Where it is lies, it lies between twenty four and forty six. In that maximum value will be considered. That row is called as Q one class. Now Q one class equal to twenty to thirty. in that we need to find out q1 q1 formula equal to l plus n by 4 minus cf divided by f into i now l equal to lower limit of the q1 class n by 4 118 divided by 4 29.5 cf equal to 24 cf i will you find your in cf column previous value of q1 class here q1 class is 22 30 for that cfl is 46 for that previous value 24 so cf equal to 24 f equal to 22 frequency of the median class i size or difference of the median class or q1 class So value substitute twenty plus twenty nine point five minus twenty four divided by twenty two into ten. Then simplify five point five divided by twenty two into ten. Then simplify will get five point five divided by twenty two into ten will get two point five plus twenty will get twenty two point five. In this way Q one will be calculated. Similar way Q three class also we can find out. 
Q3 class equal to 3 fourth of the nth term. 3 fourth of the nth term means 88.5. It lies between 76 and 100. In that maximum is 100. For that row we can select it. That is Q3 class equal to 40 to 50. Here I explained. So Q3 class equal to 40 to 50. Q3 formula is L plus 3N by 4 minus CF divided by F into I. So L equal to 40. Lower limit of the Q3 class. 3N by 4th of N equal to 88.5. Then CF equal to 76. CF we are only find previous value of the cumulative frequency column of Q3 class i equal to 10 because class interval size here i is 10. So L value substituted 40 plus 88.75 minus 76 divided by 24 into 10. So 88.5 minus 76 we will get 12.5 divided by 24 into 10. 12.5 divided by 24 you will get 0 0.5208 into 10 we will get 5.208 we will get here as 45.208 so Q3 value is 45.208 then Cotel deviation formula is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. We know Q3 value as well as Q1 value. Q3 value is 45.208. Q1 value 22.5. So divided by 2. So 22.708 divided by 2. Then simplify 11.354. This is Cotel deviation. Now coefficient of Cotel deviation the formula is Q3 minus Q1 divided by Q3 plus Q1. So simplify that 45.208 minus 22.5 divided by 45.208 plus 22.5. Then simplify 22.708 divided by 67.708. If you simplify this, you will get here as 0.3353. We will be getting this is the way we can able to find out cotyl deviation cotyl deviation what you have to find first q1 q3 then cotyl deviation then coefficient of cotyl deviation then we will take another one problem this problem is clearly indicates that it is a inclusive class interval whatever we studied in unit number three so all the applications will be used for unit, unit number 4 inclusive you need to convert as exclusive class interval suppose if it is given less than cumulative frequency problem also you need to convert as exclusive class interval more than exclusive class interval uh, unequal class interval if it is given then you need to convert exclusive class interval here in this problem is inclusive class interval is given how will you find that first class interval upper limit is equal to the second class interval lower limit similarly second class interval upper limit equal to the third class interval lower limit likewise if it is continued then we can say it is called as exclusive class interval otherwise it is called as inclusive here 40 to 44 next class interval 45 to 49 Next class interval 52-54. So here can, there is no continuation. So it is called as inclusive class interval. So I will be written in this format. First inclusive class interval we need to convert as exclusive class interval in this form. Lower limit of all the class intervals separate by 0.5. Upper limit add by 0.5. So we will get inclusive class interval into exclusive class interval then frequency will be written as it is 5 8 10 11 9 7 so total if we added capital n equal to 50 sum of all the frequencies 
then CF here very important because median of your founder the same concept will be applicable so that in quartile deviation we will find out cumulative frequency so first value as it is will be return then 8 plus 5 equal to 13 11 plus 13 equal to 24 10 plus 24 equal to 34 9 plus 34 equal to 43 7 plus 43 equal to 50 in this way CF will be calculated again I will remember your continuous class interval type so we need to find out Q1 class then Q1 Q3 class then Q3 then we can go for the quartile deviation and then coefficient of quartile deviation we know that how to find Q1 class Q1 class formula is 1 fourth of nth term so here n is 50 so 50 divided by 4 we will get as 12.5 12.5 the value is lies between 5 and 13 in that maximum value is 13 for that row will be selected here we need to consider only exclusive class interval so exclusive class interval as per this one q and class equal to 44.5 to 49.5 then formula will be return q1 equal to l plus n by 4 minus cf divided by f into i then the l value is lower limit of the q1 class 44.5 n by 4 50 divided by 4 we will get 12.5 cf equal to previous value of Q1 class in CF column. So here CF column in previous value of Q1 class is 5. I equal to 5 because difference between uh, upper limit and lower limit of Q1 class. So here is 5. So we can substitute that L plus 12.5 minus 5 divided by 8 into 5. L value 44.5 plus 7.5 divided by 8 into 5 simplify that we will get 0 0.9375 into 5 that if you simplify 4.6875 so plus 44.5 will get as 49.1875 this is the way we can calculate it in continuous class interval 49.1875 is the q1 of the given class interval now we can find out the same way q3 class here the place is not sufficient so next slide i have shown that q3 class equal to 3 fourth of nth term 3 by 4 of 50 is we will get as 37.5 so it lies between uh, where 34 and 43 in that maximum is 43 that row will be selected for Q3 class. Here Q3 class is 59.5 to 64.5. Here I have shown the calculation. So now we can use the formula L plus 3n by 4 minus CF divided by F into I. Now 
we can find out what is L lower limit of the Q3 class 59.5 3 times of N by 4 that is 37.5 then CF is cumulative frequency in column previous value of Q3 class 34 F equal to frequency of the Q3 class I here a difference or width of the Q3 class so we substitute in this values 59.5 plus 37.5 minus 34 divided by 9 into 5 substitute the values then 59.5 plus 3.5 divided by 9 into 5 then simplify 0 0.388 into 5 then simplify we'll get 1.944 then plus 59.5 will get 61.444 this is the way q3 will be calculated now q1 is be calculated q3 also calculated then we can find out q tail deviation quartile deviation formula is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 so q3 value 61.444 minus q1 value 49.1875 divided by 2 simplify 12.2569 divided by 2 that if you simplify will get 6.1284 quartile deviation value of this problem is 6.1284 now we are going to find out coefficient of quartile deviation q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 Q3 value 61.444 minus Q1 value 49.1875 divided by 61.444 plus 49.1875 then you get 12.2565 divided by 110.6315 so again if you divided this value 0 0.11078 this is the way Cotyl deviation and its coefficient will be calculated. Again, I will make you to remember whatever we studied in third unit that is different types of class interval type converted into exclusive class interval. Few examples I have shown. Similar way, any kind of class interval in different format is given. First, we need to convert as exclusive class interval type without converting exclusive class interval type if you solve the problem is not correct then they won't give marks at all thank you for watching any correction or any calculation mistake is there please let me know you can go through the content and get the correct values any calculator missing is there concept basis you learn it and go ahead anything is there let me know thank you for watching we will see in the next video. Have a nice day for all. Thank you very much.